The purpose of this code is to show how to use visual uh, basic applications and SQL to summarize data. Basically, they sent us the data for, the, for ERP number 39, time period one and time period two. You can use this file contain a set of Excel files, which are the different levels of data, for example, the food data, the bamboo data, the rotten way of data, the soil data, etc. What I did for purposes of what I was what I, my experimentation here is in showing this, is I took the tree data from time one and time two and put them both into a single new file that I call trees one and two. Um, this basically the tab for the trees in time one and the tree for the tab in for the tree. I also made a blank uh, sum set tab that I'll, I'll talk about in a minute. So the goal is basically to make a summary of this file where there's one row for each tree. What I want to do is I want to know, well, how many trees are there per combination of ERP, cycle, RP, and MP? Um, so basically, you know, we know we have the raw data, and we want to get the summary table using SQL. So how do I do that? Well, I have VBA code here that we can look at, and uh, this is a subroutine. This subroutine is basically a, like a program, a computer program, that will, when I execute the subroutine, it will do something. What is the something that it's doing? The something that it's doing is executing an SQL statement that we're looking at here, um, that will basically select certain columns from my data set. And if you just looked at these, these columns, ABD, Cycle, OMC, ONC, and ABD, I believe, which are the different, it's like cycle plot, subplot, etc. cetera. Um, and I'm going to do an aggregation. In other words, I'm going to count the number of trees in, in my data set for every combination of these variables. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Where am I selecting that information from? I'm selecting it from this. You know, and you have to use this exact syntax. Um, the trees one tab, the range A1 to C10,000. This is much larger than the range that has data in it. I just, for this experiment, I just put some arbitrarily large range so that it at least encompasses all of the valid data. You'll see that in my code here, because it's a string, it has to be enclosed in quotes, right? So I've done some things here to make it a little more readable when it's full screen on my computer. Is I've done this continuation um, thing. This ampersand is like how you concatenate two strings. This, this underscore that I just highlighted, tells you to continue on the code in the next line. It's just a way to wrap the text around to the next line. So as you experiment with this, you just need to be careful. You could put the entire thing on one line and just enclose it in quotes and don't worry about um, this part. Or you can uh, do what I did, just paying attention to the fact that you need to terminate the text string to the ampersand, which is the concatenating the two strings together, and then this thing, which this space underscore, and then hit, hit return, which just wraps the record, which tells the VBA to continue on the next one. So anyway, um, I'm selecting it from that, that, that set of data, and I'm, I'm just hit SQL syntax group by says I want it summarized by ODB ring, by cycle, by OMC ID, and by ODB ID. So this SQL with specific syntax I use is what the program uses to summarize the data. So okay, great, I've written my subroutine and I got my SQL and everything's great. Well how do I get the SQL to run? Well what I did was I, I'm going to make a button. And the way I make a button is I have a developer tab in my Excel. You might not have this. If you don't, what you need to do first, you only do this once. Is there a file, options, um, 
customize ribbon, uh, main tab, and you'll see developer here. You want to add it, you need to add it, send it over here to your main toolbar. You say OK, and it will pop up up here. It's just a way to you know, invoke the developer tag. If you already have access to it, it's not displayed. So once that's invoked, uh, you then just hit the design mode button. So the sort of highlight is there, you hit that. And now I'm in design mode. I'm going to insert a bucket using this insert thing. And you can make your button however you want. I'm going to make a first big button. So, okay, I've got a button. When I click the button, what do I want to have happen? I want to run this subroutine, which is named SQL. Well, what do you mean named SQL? Well, what I did was, um, let me get this out of here so I can redo it. I, I, if you took note in the VBA, I named the subroutine SQL. That's what the name is. So it named it Wendy. So anyway, we go back here. We insert our button. We tell it that we want it to execute the SQL subroutine. We say OK. And we can rename it however we want. Summary. So then we go out of design mode, click that, and now the button should be active, and if I push it, what it does is it executes the SQL that we um, showed, that, that we showed. So what does that SQL do? <clears throat> we still have to figure out how to get the headings in here. We know that it's that list of uh, columns that I asked for here. So it's actually this list. I'll copy the piece up here just for our reference. But again, this, you know, this, that's trivial because you get these column headings inserted correctly. We know it's ODB name, ODB cycle ID, onc ID, ODB ID, and the count of trees. All right, well, what is this 17 then? Where does that come from? Well, let's go back to here. And we will see that if we sort the data, so data, sort, we'll add several levels, we'll say sort of under the name, cycle, onc, and ODB, and we'll remove this level. Say okay. So anything that looks like a number has a number. So anything has a number, a number, a number. Now we have sorted it. What we see is that for this combination of ODB name, cycle, RP, and MP, we have 17 records, 17 unique tree IDs. Lo and behold, we get the 17 here. So it's 39, 111, we got 17, 111. What we've done is we have summarized the number of trees for that combination using one simple line of SQL code, which is kind of cool because then what we can do is something like paste this text into our worksheet and we can just say this, this summary was created with this SQL code so that anyone looking at it knows immediately exactly how we got to the number 17. We'll say, oh, they used SQL, they selected those columns, they found those trees, yeah, and they grouped it by this. We know exactly what it is, what we've done. You can do some other interesting things here. So instead of just count, you might say, um, for some reason, you might want to say, okay, how about the sum? You can do other aggregation functions. So I just change that to sum. Let's go here and I'll push my button again. And it will sum up the 
PID value. It's a meaningless number, but it's like summing up 1 through 17. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 7 up to, up to 17 equals 153. I think you get the idea of what we're talking about here. So the point is, using this kind of functionality, using a little bit of SQL, you can do some fancy other SQL things. A lot of them are these summaries. You, know, you can summarize two things at once. You can group by multiple columns. This is in effect doing the same thing a pivot table would be with only just one line of code. So if you don't want to summarize, uh, I'll, I'll comment that out and I'll look at some other SQL that I put in here. This other SQL is basically saying collect all the records from tree one and all the records from tree two and append them, put one on top of the other. In other words, stack them. So what does that look like? I just changed it. I, I, I commented out the code I don't want. I, I, I enabled the code, you know, the SQL code that I'm interested in. I'll hit run. And I get a whole different set of data. What that is, is 5,700 rows. 5,700 rows is the sum of the number of rows in tree one and tree two. I basically just stacked the two things together, all with one little tiny line of code. You know, it's a very simple thing like this. So my point is, you can see how using this functionality, you can quickly uh, generate summaries of various types with some you know, basic knowledge of SQL. You can very easily document exactly how the summary was done with one simple line of text so everyone knows exactly where the summarized data come from. And you can string these things together in such a way that you can generate a report that the type you want. Anyway, that's that's my idea. Yeah. <laughs>